In four days, it'll count. James Harden doing his thing, eight points, six assists in the first half, but the Rockets trail it at home 54 to 51. And that brings us to the American Express halftime report. Welcome in. Good to have you with us on a Friday night here on TNT. Grant Hill, Isaiah Thomas, Kevin McHale, I'm Matt Weiner. Uh, guys, let's, let's talk teammates, American Express teammates, specifically the new teammates, Harden and Chris Paul, thrown together this summer. Daryl Morey says, I take talent over everything else mm -hmm. and then try to make it fit. And that seems to be what, what we've got here with two of the top four assist guys in the NBA. How well do you think it'll work? What are your concerns? You know, I think it has the opportunity to work uh, in some ways. One, obviously, Chris Paul, we talked earlier about leadership and things of that nature. I think he can take some of that, ease some of that pressure off of Harden. Um, I do think he has to adjust. This is Harden's team. Chris is coming in. Uh, Chris is used to having the ball in his hands. That is a concern because Harden and Chris both last year were in the top five uh, in terms of dominate, you know, dominating the ball per possession. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so Chris Paul is very capable of catch and shoot. He shot 49% from three-point line last year off of catch and shoots. But his whole life, the ball has been in his hands. And now he's going into a system with a guy who dominates the ball even more than he does. And so the question is, can they figure it out? It may take some time. And I think the guy who may struggle a little bit early is going to be Chris. Uh, but Chris, I think, is at a point in his career where he wants to win. Uh, and he's a smart player. He understands the game. So... Uh, it'll be fun to follow and see how that all works out down in Houston. Yeah, obviously, they up their talent level, particularly at the top end. But what kind of growing pains are we looking at? Well, there's, there's going to be considerable growing pains. And as a, as a former talent evaluator, winner in this league, I take chemistry over talent mm. any day. Uh, mm -hmm. Because we've seen in this league, in, in many leagues, baseball, football, basketball, where you can have a lot of talented people. But if the chemistry doesn't fit the system, then it doesn't work. And right now, Chris Paul, Harden are great in D'Antoni's system when they are the ball-dominant person. Yep. But either one of them off the ball, I'm not sure if they can both coexist and be as effective as they've been in their career. Now, one of them is going to take a dip. I don't think Harden is going to take a dip. I think Paul's numbers could decrease a little bit in this system. Uh, and then it depends on chemistry, how well they all get along. You know, we talked about leadership and everything early. Well, this is going to come into play because chemistry in the system works. Talent without chemistry in the system, that doesn't work. Well, Reggie used to have a saying, talent without togetherness and toughness means nothing. So, you know, if you're not together and you don't have some mental toughness, it ain't going to work. Yeah. I think, you know, James Harden can really come off single doubles. He, you know, when he, when he was in OKC and we first had him in Houston, we ran a lot of stuff for him, you know, got him off the ball. I, he can really do that. And he, his catch and shoot game, his coming off curls to his left hand, you get him on that right side where he's curling hard off of doubles and he's coming to that left hand, it's almost unguardable. But, you know, he's got to the point where he's had the ball in his hand a lot. I think he's going to have to just say, look, at, you know, Chris Paul, uh, they will have growing pains, Isaiah. You made a good point. But Chris Paul, look, at, uh, we might play better with you with, with the ball in your hand. They've got to just get over their numbers and say, how do we play best? Uh, do we play best with the ball in your hand? I'd like to see him getting a share, a uh, two-sided pick and roll. You run the thing, quick swing, pin down, come up, and you run some side-to-side -side action. I think, they, you know, they could be really good. Go yeah, ahead. but, you know, I've, I've been the MVP in the league, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm not changing. <laughs> you know, I thought, like, I thought, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, hold but it, coach. It's like, you know, this is what I do now. I'm yeah. the MVP. Like, I'm, I'm the bad boy. But Isaiah, last year, Steph Curry, his team, you know, two-time MVP, he kind of took a back seat early to let Kevin Durant get adjusted. Right. The question is, yeah, will, but that's will James Kevin, Harden do wait, that? Will hmm. James Harden do that with Chris Paul? Wait, Kevin Durant and Chris Paul, I, they I'm are not, not in the same I, league. No, I mean, saying, it's no. like, I, I like Chris and everything, but he ain't no Kevin Durant. No, I'm not saying he is. <laughs> but I'm saying it's about trying to make the chemistry work. Togetherness. Togetherness. You know what? Togetherness. If, it, if the possession ends in a three, Mike D'Antoni will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> they're averaging nearly 50, will. They're averaging nearly 50 <laughs> a game in the preseason. And if so Durant far. shows up, Mike D'Antoni will be happy. Really happy. <laughs> Later on, there's Blake Griffin to prove it.